Hey guys, Dwayne here. Today I'm going to do an unboxing. My friend Sammy in Australia, her channel is called Sammy Prepper and Bushcraft Australia, had a giveaway to celebrate reaching 1,000 subscribers on her YouTube channel. This was like a month ago. She reached 1,000 subscribers. Right now she's at uh, 1,252, so her channel is really growing, and I'm proud of her. She's put a lot of time into her channel, and she makes a lot of videos. So if you're not subscribed to Sammy, go check her out. Um, so Sammy, Sammy is a survival expert, and she is all about being prepared, and she's really good at putting together kits, small kits, really small kits, Bigger kits, bigger kits, fire kits, all kinds of kits. And so she made big survival kits to give away to celebrate reaching 1,000 subscribers. She, she chose three of her loyal subscribers to send uh, a giveaway prize to, and then she did a drawing for the fourth one. Anyway, anyway, I was one of the lucky ones that Sammy chose to send uh, one of her survival kits to. And it came in the mail. It actually came a couple days ago, but I am just now opening it because I wanted to do it on camera. So let's see what Sammy sent me. Oh, by the way, postage from Australia for this weighs about a pound. It's not very heavy. Uh, what? 0.526 kilograms. $33. Gee whiz. Wow. So thank you, Sammy. I know you put a lot of time and expense into sending these out to your subscribers so thank you so much so let's open it up and see what sammy sent me this is exciting <laughs> all the way from australia Wow. In a uh, giant Ziploc bag. In Australia, they call them press seals because you press it to seal it. How cool is that? So, have a note from Sammy. Congratulations on being one of the four winners of my giveaway. Hope you like this little survival package I put together for you, brother. Peace from your friend Sammy. Cool. <laughs> cool. Look at all this stuff. Oh, man. <laughs> Put this over here. Let's see what Sammy sent me. Um, these are little fire starter bricks. I forget what they're called. They have a name brand. Redhead matches from Australia. You know, we have these type matches here, but they're not Redhead brand. Um, complies with European match standards. Wow. These are actually made in Sweden. Marketed by ST Group in Australia. Anyway, anyway. Matches from far off places. Um, here we have hearing protection. Little foam earplugs. Uh, trail tape. If you're if you're lost in the woods or you want to you're in an unfamiliar territory and you want to mark your way back so you don't wander around in circles for three days. <laughs> trail tape, man. <laughs> of course, you can make your own, uh, but it's nice to have and it weighs nothing. Very good. Um, looks like jute twine. Good for cordage, tying things up. Uh, it's also uh, good for fire starting. It gets very, very fuzzy if you un unravel it. Yeah, good stuff. No candle. 
That is a deep tea light candle. I've never seen them this size. That is excellent. That will burn for a long time. Probably, what, five or six hours? And paracord. Excellent. Survival whistle. Metal. Jeez. <laughs> it is loud. <laughs> Duct tape wrapped around a piece of, looks like plastic corrugated, like cardboard only, it's plastic. Interesting. Um, ooh. Flashlight. Looks like a double A or triple A flashlight. No batteries because you're not supposed to ship alkaline batteries. I believe it's a double A. Nice little light. And a long spoon. Good for stirring hot food very lightweight weighs nothing really wow what is this it's a metal tin with a ranger band Let's see what is in here wow Oh my gosh. <laughs> Little cotton rounds for fire starting. Ranger band. Um, I don't know what these are for. I watched Sammy's videos where she was putting these kits together, but I don't remember everything. I don't remember what those were for. Um, let's see, things over here. Guitar pick, believe it or not, if you don't know, guitar picks are a good fire starter. You light this and it will burn for quite a while. And it burns hot because it's melting plastic. And again, they weigh nothing, they take up no space at all. Uh, sack needle, good for sewing up your backpack or your tent or whatever. A little bitty fishing kit. <laughs> little hooks, weights, and little rubber worms. Um, buckle, so you can make your own survival bracelet, paracord bracelet. Little Lucifer. Sammy is kind of a fire bug, and so am I. I love. I love playing with fire. And so she has all these different fire starters. This is one of them. I've never tried this, but it's supposed to burn really well. Um, paper clips, safety pins, and what is this? Cool, cool little knife. Wow, <laughs> that is neat. It's all stainless steel with a bottle opener, pocket clip. That's neat. I have never seen a knife like this. And Australian money. I love coins, all kinds of coins. This is a 20, 20 cents. It's a big one. It's thicker than a US quarter. There's a dime, or is this a dime? This is a nickel. Okay, in the U.S., our nickels are bigger than the dimes. In Australia, the nickel is smaller than the dime. Five cents, ten cents, twenty cents. Very cool. Thank you, Sammy. There's another guitar pick. Bandages. Alcohol wipes. Little bitty button compasses. Oh, those are adorable. <laughs> and post-it notes for taking notes. 
and a uh, little green zip tie. Green is Sammy's favorite color, if you don't know. Um, number eight bank line, I believe, for sewing or fishing. And a skinny little ferro rod. Ferro rods are great for starting fires. It doesn't matter if it gets wet. It's very, very small. You can scrape it with any knife. Um, yeah, very good. Very nice little kit. A kit within a kit. There's a bigger zip tie. And I believe this is Cecil twine. I actually have some of this. And it does burn. Um, good natural cordage that's also good for a fire starter. A yellow bandana. Cool. Collapsible water bottle. Now this is a really neat idea. I've had these in the past, but I don't actually own one now. So now I do. <laughs> and these are bombs. Some kind of candy, I think. Candy or gum. <laughs> the cutest little thing of Tic Tacs I've ever seen. I never knew they made them that small. And this is... Cotton and little metal um, cupcake foil holders for making my own fire starters. A little cotton, a little fatwood shavings, a little wax, and you have some neat fire starters. Chopsticks. Two big fat straws. These are good for. Uh, drinking from uh, a source other than a bottle um, or you can you can seal the ends with the lighter and put stuff in them like a, a cotton ball soaked in Vaseline and seal both ends and it'll be a waterproof fire starter you can also put matches in them or you can make a little fire uh, fishing kit or whatever and you can seal it inside uh, these big fat straws First aid, gauze bandage. Um, this looks like uh, two trash bags, plastic trash bags. Many, many uses for these. In fact, Sammy has videos on like 50 uses for a trash bag. Check that out. Another gauze bandage. Another black zip tie. And this is, can't see it from that side. Happy Australia Day, mate. <laughs> I love it. I love it. That's going up on the wall. <laughs> awesome. And a paracord bracelet that Sammy made. Sammy or Tyson made this. Probably Sammy. And it fits. Very cool, very cool. A blue Sharpie, good for taking notes or um, marking your trail again so you don't get lost. This is foil tape. Many, many uses for that. One is to mark your gear um, so it's easy to see when it's laying on the ground. Piece of owl foil from Australia. Sammy's note. She is awesome. And some little bitty bags. Looks like a uh, fold over and seal. 
Very, very thin. Very good. Very good kit, Sammy. Very good. Well done. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, all this stuff. <laughs> this is so awesome. <laughs> there you go. That's my unboxing of my giveaway prize from Sammy Prepper and Bushcraft in Australia. Thank you, Sammy. That was awesome. Stand by. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> thanks again, Sammy. And thank you all for watching. Have a great day. Happy Australia Day, mate. <laughs> Peace. Out.